Welcome back to another Smart Money Monday. Today we're learning about a problem that affects practically everyone with a smartphone or a laptop. We're talking fraud text and emails. Here to help us learn how to protect ourselves from being scammed is Kristen Konishi from Bank of Hawaii. Hi, Kristen. Aloha, Steve. Um, you're right. So smartphones are the number one way that fraudsters try to scam their way into our sensitive personal and financial data. So how do we protect ourselves from these text and email scams? Well, first and foremost, you should be suspicious of any call, text, or email from anyone that you don't know. A great rule of thumb is to remember that legitimate companies like banks will never ever call you with urgent requests or try and scare you into taking immediate action. So if you're ever in doubt, call the number on the back of your card directly instead of clicking any unfamiliar texts um, or links that are texted to you. Got it, avoid suspicious links. Uh, anything else, how else do we stay safe? You should check the privacy settings on your phone. So many smartphone apps actually track your movement and browsing activity, even when those apps aren't open. That makes it really easy for high-tech crooks to get all kinds of valuable behavioral data they can use against you. And you should also see what apps have permission to see your location data and access your phone, microphone, and other data. If you ever have any doubt, just reverse those kinds of permissions. And maybe rid of some of those apps that you don't ever use? Absolutely. So those apps that you use once could actually be leaving an open door to your personal information. Yeah, what about something as simple as just locking your phone? Sure. Um, just a few minutes of physical access to your phone. A stranger can grab all kinds of your data, including passwords, credit card numbers, and banking information. So that's a great rule of thumb. Always lock your phone with a password, fingerprint, or facial recognition. And whenever your phone manufacturer releases new software, download and install it. Software updates often include fixes for security holes, so skipping them can actually leave your phone vulnerable. So, so Kristen, bottom line is just don't let your smartphone be a convenient way to be a victim of fraud. Exactly. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Kristen. Mahalo, Steve. It was a pleasure. Yeah, you too. And thank you for watching Smart Money Monday.